rented out the whole comic shop to myself. <laughs> I know what's going on, everybody. We are the few and the many today <laughs> at the comic shop. As you guys can see, it's pretty dead around here. Acme did get a good portion of their books in, but they are missing, um, I think, like one box from Diamond. So we'll go through everything with everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let me get the live chat up real quick. All right, we're good to go. So we'll go through all the books nice and slow today. We're going to take a look at everything. Lots of independent books coming out. What's up, Bilbo? So it looks like we're missing Ancient Enemies, but we do have the Ambassadors. We got the new Cosmic Ghost Rider, issue 3, verse Valkyrie. There's a variant cover. What's up, William? Danger Street. Oh, that's a fun cover there. The cereal. The new Green Lantern. Impossible Jones from Scout Comics. That's the one in 50 on the Green Lantern. What's up, Lee? Hello, everyone. New comic book day. Free comic book day was over the weekend. You guys have to comment down below if you got any of the cool free comic book day books. Invincible Iron Man. There's the uh, variant cover. That one's pretty cool. Like a uh, Samurai Iron Man. New Daredevil came out. Legacy 659. Guest starring Iron Fist. What's up, everyone? Daywalker. JG. Hello, everyone. What's going on? Daredevil 11. Hope you guys have been enjoying the different YouTube videos on the channel. We had the awesome Upper Deck unboxing from the Shang-Chi. Marvel cards, that was really awesome. And then we had the uh, free comic book day video that dropped. That's the Spider-Verse variant. They got a bunch of these different Spider-Verse ones. Here's the Daredevil one. I got Really cool. We're missing the uh, 1 in 50, I think. And then the True variant was supposed to be on there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the Conan, I, I grabbed it from right off the wall over there. It's been sitting there for a while, so I figured I might as well take advantage of the sale. We already got all the good ones. Got the Spider-Man 2 one. Everyone everyone grabbed that one super quick. So I was not able to grab it. Batman blank sketch. We got Batman Adventures Continue. Season 3, issue 5. The 1 in 25 on this is really nice this week. Mr. Freeze. Gotta love that animated cover on the Joker. 1 in 25. And then you do have Joker Incorporated. First appearance, I think. Any good Spider-Man yet? The only Spider-Man you missed is that, this one right here. The Spider-Verse variant. We got It's Jeff. Bunch of Vince Byron covers. That's the second printing on It's Jeff. Death Dealer, Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer. Bunch of different covers. Frank Frazetta. I love these I covers. Look at that one with the wolf. Scotty's got some really nice covers that came out this week. And I have in like I think there's like two of them. Because there's like a one in fifty, so I'm gonna use that. That's a really cool cover there too. So Josh comes in and he's like, AAPI Heritage Month. And he races my number. Yeah, the one in twenty-five. I think that's the first appearance of that character. He loves Scotty. Look at the design cover. Ghost lore. Issue number one, a few different variant covers. Oh, wow, look at this cover. That thing's pretty crazy. And what do we got down here? Keepers of the Cosmos, Canal Confessions, the Carnal Confessions. What is this? I think this was... A top book this week, Junkyard Joe, issue six from Image, three different covers, and then we got Batman, this is the new White Knight Presents, Generation Joker, oh and then you got Scooby-Doo limited series, Scooby-Doo Mysteries, 12 issue limited series, the one in 25, it's New Storm. Ghost Rider, it's issue 14. Man, that's a sick Storm. cover. I'm not sure who did the artwork on that. Issue 14. And there's Inyuk Lee variant. Another one of the AAPI. Legacy 257. King Kong. 
Oh, we're missing cover A on King Kong Great War. But we do have a bunch of these different variants. New King Kong story. One in 15, Virgin. That one's pretty sick. Captain Marvel. Oh, here's one of the Scotties. Bless you. Bless you, sir. What is this one over here? Briar. Captain Marvel. Ooh, Revenge of Brood. And then there's another one of those Spider Verse covers. Puppet Horror number one. What is that? That's crazy looking cover there. From American Mythology Productions. We got Count Dante. Number one from Scout. And here is the Green Lantern, the new Green Lantern. So you have the one in 25. The one in 50 is wrapped around. We saw it at the beginning of the video. There's a... I agree. This one's sick with Sinestro. Like undercover. Back on Earth, ready for action. And Looney Tunes. Gotta love these Looney Tunes covers every week. Whenever they drop them, this is 272. That's fun. All right, guys, we got some Star Wars over here. What is these? The Star Wars Boba Fett Starship. Big old box, 229. If you're a Star Wars fan, the Crow. And then over here, we got the rest of the stuff for this week. So they are missing, I think they said one box. It should be here a little bit later on. Lord of the Jungle, issue five from Dynamite. Rogue and Gambit. Oh, that's a double Spider Verse. You got the Gambit and Rogue. Spider Man 2099 Dark Genesis. First appearance on this one, I think, of Blade. Um, yeah, it says it right over here. Introducing. Blade 2099, and I think that's his son right there, too. Oh, look at this. They have the, I just realized, they have the one in 25, which is the, um, like a design variant, kind of. That's really cool. We got Wolverine down here, issue 33. And then the amazing Spider-Man. I'm surprised there's more of these. I figured these would have gotten... Homage. Homage, yeah. I say it like the H is silent. Just say homage. <laughs> this is cool, though. I'm surprised these aren't getting bought up more. Usually these amazing fantasy uh, 15 homage covers are pretty popular. So we got a bunch of them. This is the uh, John Romita Jr. cover. You have the New Avengers homage on the what if. We have Scotty Young. Legacy 919. There's the Scotty Young cover. And then this is a 1 in 25. They got a bunch of these 1 in 25s with MJ. What's going on, everyone? Good morning. Hope you guys are having a wonderful new comic book day. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what your top book is this week. Hope you guys have been enjoying all the YouTube content on the channel, too. Been trying to upload some more videos for you guys. We got a really awesome video from Joe's Last Tent Sale coming out this Friday. And then this Saturday, May 13th, from 11 to 6, we'll be at Thrifting Comics. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can so the people that aren't able to make it can enjoy some of the, uh, the books and stuff. we got Spirit World. This is a new number one, too. And then we got Scar. This is... I really like that one there. One in ten. This is the one in 100. 122 bucks for the one in 100. Spirit World. Murder Inc. Yeah, they have the um. Oh, someone bought it. I think. Did someone? I think someone picked it up. There was the. Uh, I think it was a one in fifty or something. That was a. Uh, I think it was like a virgin cover of this one. Of that one right there. We have Harley messes up the DCU. The, uh, I think that's what the um, Action Comics number one homage. 
We have the one in 25. The Nasty, number one. Nightfall. New Silk is really nice this week, too. There's a bunch of nice covers. That's true, right? And then the one in 25 is really nice. David Nakayama killed it. One in 25 on Silk number one. It is 42 bucks. And then here's cover A. We got Stargirl. Cool design variant on the one in 50. On Spirit World. Star Trek. Defiant. Oh, and here's the Star Wars. Star Wars Darth Vader. Issue 34. Ronin. So one in 25. Star Wars High Republic, issue 9. This thing is really cool. They got $44 on it. It's the one in 25. And then they got a couple other different variants. I think they only have one here, right? Yeah, just the one. So 44 bucks on the one in 25. Something epic. There's a bunch of different homage covers on this one. And then Phantom Road, Old Dog. From lots of indie stuff. Red Act 1. Phantom Road. Looks like there were supposed to be two more covers. Oh, look at this Venom. This is cool. Second printing on the Lethal Protector. And then you got Superman Lost, number three. You have the Peach Momoko variant. Yeah, these are cool, the Venom. Venomverse. But that Scotty is really cool. I like that Scotty cover with the green background. And then you got Not a Ratio. Lots of different Venom covers. Here's the World Tree. That was from a couple weeks back. And I think that's about it over here. We got the um, Spider-Gwen Shadow Clone, Issue 3. The Rhino Gwen. And then Spawn, 341. That's a cool cover. Quicksand, number one. From Scout Comics. It's a 1 in 50. Yes, yeah, the first appearance of Venom Samurai, right? I know I did pick up a copy of this. There's a bunch of stuff left this week. I don't really know exactly which is the, the hot one. Seems like there's not too many people rushing towards too much. All right, guys. Let's see what I grabbed. He doesn't have a PS5 either right now, Sonny. So what the... Sorry, sir. What is that? Who, Jackson? I'm just saying he's not selling a PS5 right now. So oh, here's my stack right here. Jackson almost every No one... <coughs> All right, we got Star Wars, no, High Republic, nine, separated, issue eight. Yeah, we showed everything so far. I can show you guys again. A lot of great stuff. I had to pick that one up. I love this cover. Every time you can grab an AF-15 homage, I think you have to, right? That's a really cool one, too, with the black suit. Scotty Young, and then there's the other Scotty. So definitely a good week. Lots of Spider-Man this week, actually. And then some Batman, like always, and a little bit of Star Wars. Very cool. We got the Batman. Let's see, anything different on the wall? First time Marvel Select did it. Oh, for real? Yeah. Come on, real quick. That's the I get to get Spider-Man. Is that why you got a bunch of them? Well, we got a box. Oh, that's Marvel cool. Blade. Mm -hmm. Does not look like Wesley Snakes, but it's okay. It's not Wesley Snakes. It's the original Blade from the comics there, not the movies. Yeah. Oh, he has a different head sculpt? Nice. Yeah, he has a very oh, with teeth. the teeth. That's mm -hmm. sick. I'm not mad at that. For 36 bucks with all those accessories, it's not bad. That's cool. Yeah, that's not bad at all. They should have did like uh, Deacon Frost or something though, you know, like a villain set, like something to team them up with. That's one thing I don't have is like cool statues or toys to display. The only thing I have is my, uh, I have the black and white Batman 423 McFarlane toy. I love that one. Lots of cool different stuff. 
Ooh, yeah. Doctor Strange, Jesus. Multiverse no, of Madness. <laughs> I really 83 love bucks. Like every day, every Very cool. All right, let's take one more look, guys, on the uh, spawn wall. And then we will head out of here for new comic book day. Let's see. Anything new on the walls? Oh, we got some Deadpool. What is that? That's a 1 in 100 on Deadpool. That thing's pretty cool. Another 1 in 50. Some indie books. Let's see if we got anything new over here. Kingdom Come. Uh, Warriors. I think that's pretty much it. Star Wars. Lots of Star Wars stuff up here. I just don't know enough about it. I love these Star Wars covers. All right, guys, I think that's it. And that's a cool variant there, the negative space. That's a modern one. All right, guys, we're going to get out of here. Oh, this thing's sick. Look at that. One in 50 with the Riddler. All right, now we're going to get out of here. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me for New Comic Book Day. Comment down below what your top book was, and we will see you guys next week for another new comic book day as usual new video on friday from joe's comic book connection tent sale and i think that's about it yeah nothing new on the wall over here they did fill this up see the hole right there that's where the um the conan was pick that up if you guys watch the uh, video from free comic book day you could see that and then sarah actually ended up picking up one of these Red Sonya Unbreakable. Have a great day, though, guys. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one.